Well, you're right. Lindsay on the loose is bothering me a heck of a lot more than I was willing to admit down in Landview. Well, you can relax, because if no one knows where you are, then there's no way Lindsay can find you. I'm just glad that Matthew's with my, my mother in Chicago. Well, I'll miss him, but he's going to be so spoiled, he's never going to miss me. You see, there you go. So Matthew's safe, and I'm going to keep you safe. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the new place, huh? Does this work for you? It's just beautiful. I mean, yeah. look at this. It's just... Where do you see the inside? I checked it out on the internet. Let me tell you, this place looks like the perfect place to just kick back and relax. Fabulous. Edgar T. Snow, we emailed. Yeah, the pictures you sent me didn't look anything like this dump. Dump? Dump. Easy there. I call this rustic charm. Yeah, well, I want my deposit back. Fine, but there's not another camp in their campsite within a 50-mile radius. You know, maybe if we just uh, straighten the rug and uh, dust it ever so slightly. Now you're talking. Fine, then let's renegotiate the price. Check out times 11 a.m. or you get charged for an extra day. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, come here. Oh. I, I, I hear, I thought I planned this whole thing out I so know, I know. well. <laughs> well, at least we know you'll definitely be safe from Lindsay, right? Because there's no way she'll set foot anywhere near a place uh, like this. You know what? It's it's uh, it's not so bad. No, no, not at all. Not if you're used to living in a garbage can. Well, oh my word! Look at that. It's a twin bed. I haven't slept in a twin bed since I was a teenager. Yeah, probably from the local chain store. <laughs> Thank you for being so great about this. Hey. It's an adventure. <laughs> the best. Mm. Hi. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't oh, bring your oh. oh. Clean up. Oh, uh, you know what we need? Uh, yeah, a maid. That's what we need. <gasps> Nancy Drew. I didn't know Nancy Drew was a maid here. I thought she was a detective. She was a detective, and her father was a lawyer. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Emily used to read these books when she was a kid. Oh, look. Oh, Nancy Drew made you... made you... made you want to help people. Nancy Drew made me want to make a difference. Nancy Drew taught me that if you just follow the clues, you can solve any mystery. That's how I solved the mystery of Dr. Troy MacGyver and why he's still available. Did you know? I certainly did. It was actually simple, my dear sir. You just hadn't met the right woman. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm a lucky woman. You're lucky, was I? Because I turned out to be the right woman for you, Dr. MacGyver. Troy, is that you? Yes. It's me. No. 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 Hey, it's okay. It's okay. 
She's not here. She's not here. What did I say about her? All you kept saying was it's got to stop. That's all? Well, you said it over and over again. It was obvious that you were upset. Yeah, I was. But when I woke up, you said something about she's not here. Lindsay. Oh, you've been so worried about her hurting me that I just figured that's what your nightmare was about. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I guess with Lindsay escaping and you nearly drowning, I just... I just love you so much. I don't ever want to lose you, Nora. You're not going to lose me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. How do you know? How does anyone know? No one knows what's ahead. Are we talking about Lindsay or is something else going on? No, nothing else is going on. It's just with Lindsay being on the loose. I don't give anybody nightmares. I don't like to think about it. Well, she's so jealous of you, Nora. Jealousy can make people do dangerous things. Believe me, I've seen it. Jealousy can make the most rational people monsters. And we both know Lindsay's not exactly rational to begin with. Mm -hmm. We've both seen her jealousy in action. Yeah, she nearly killed both of us. Well, she's gonna have to find us first, and she can't find us here. And even if she does, I'm not alone. I've got you to protect me. And I will. I will protect you no matter what it takes. There's no way that I'm ever going to let Lindsay or anyone else hurt you. I love you so much. There's no way I'm ever going to lose you, Nora.